DataWalk is a multi-user graph analytics software platform for collaborative, intelligence-led decision-making. DataWalk enables a superior approach for testing and deploying analysis scenarios that are emerging, poorly understood, or rapidly changing. Using DataWalk as a sandbox can help you to determine an appropriate course of action. Considering the recent crisis on the east flank of NATO and the potential threat of an armed conflict in Ukraine, in this demo we'll simulate how DataWalk enables counterintelligence teams to identify foreign agents and their activity in areas of interest. DataWalk software includes the foundational graph capabilities of enabling you to easily import and connect data from all of your internal databases and external data sources. The DataWalk Universe Viewer provides a knowledge graph abstraction layer that transforms all your complex data into a simple visual model organized around understandable data sets and the relations between them, enabling non-technical users to easily interact with the data. Here we have a data set with millions of anonymous mobile device data logs for selected locations. And this data volume is no problem as DataWalk is architected to seamlessly scale to support vast amounts of data. Additionally, we've added examples of simulated data of commercial aircraft flight records scraped from the internet. We supplemented that with fictitious passenger records, the type that are available to some agencies. We added OSINT data with points of interest, including airports, community facilities, embassies, border crossings, and addresses of special forces and intel agency headquarters. We've generated a separate data set of immigrant hotspots on the border between Belarus and Poland using publicly available information. Finally, the system can be fed by various other data types, such as cell tower logs, border control records, and case-specific data for tracking intel activities of hostile parties in Europe. Availability of these and other data sources will vary in different countries and locations, and may also depend on the specific agency. For this demonstration, we use anonymous location data from mobile devices to perform an intelligence investigation and attempt to identify Russian agents engaged in the creation of crises and conflicts. For this purpose, we kept the original metadata and data format, though the values are fictitious. We start our investigation by selecting border crossings between Belarus and Poland on the histogram and visualizing them on the map. Next, we add a polygon with locations of illegal border crossings and refugee camps as reported by the Polish Border Guard. Now, we want to load anonymous and commercially available location data from mobile devices that have been recorded within the polygon beyond the legal border crossings. And we see dozens of pins on the map with the unique device IDs and timestamps of logged activities. Using SIGINT techniques, we would like to use this insight to determine and assign a real person to these anonymous device IDs. To do that, we select all mobile ID logs from the polygon and open a knowledge graph. The DataWalk Universe Viewer enables non-technical users to perform no-code querying by traversing the data and applying filters to both datasets and connections. Having selected mobile device logs in the Lawful Intercept dataset, we'd like to see unique devices, and we see 137 of them. Now we change our perspective to the mobile devices dataset to see other places where activities of those devices have been logged. On the histogram, we see other countries such as France, Poland, Ukraine, as well as Iraq, Afghanistan, and others in the Middle East. This is highly suspicious that some of those devices logged among refugees have been visiting other European countries, and this can perhaps indicate activity of foreign agencies. Now, we'd like to see only those devices that pinged in multiple countries, let's say more than three, specifically Russia, France, the UK, Belarus, Poland, and Ukraine. And we have an instant result with six devices that meet these criteria. We copy them for further investigation. Next, we want to verify what other points of interest have been matched with locations of those devices using geographic location encoding. Here we've used squares of 150 meters. This enables us to link various locations in the same square without the need to compare exact addresses or precise longitude and latitude. And we see the embassy of the Russian Federation, the GRU, headquarters of the Russian intelligence agency, and several airports in Europe, specifically Charles de Gaulle in Paris and Chopin Airport in Warsaw. To identify a potential agent, we need to get a list of flights from those airports, including the same day that mobile devices have been logged around airports and we instantly see 97 flights. Next, we go to the list of passengers on those flights, sourced from border control, and filter out all but Russian citizens.
and we see 41 passengers and 12 flights. Next, we visualize them on a link chart and add all their flights. And we see that one of them has been traveling between Moscow, Minsk, Paris, Kiev, and London. Using a page rank graph algorithm, we see Igor Ibrianov and Bulat Repin have been highlighted. We reorganize our canvas a bit and delete the rest of the individuals, keeping these two people of interest. We want to determine if the anonymous device IDs can be associated with these individuals. Previously, we copied the device IDs that have been localized around the Belarus border crossing and GRU headquarters. We paste them to our canvas and add logs of this device. We supplement this with points of interest that match those areas. And we see several embassies as well as GRU headquarters. Now we'll configure a time series analysis to see the patterns of interest. We can see that the flight of Igor from Paris to Kiev departed at 1.30 p.m. Device 2200 was logged at the Paris airport at the same time, and a few hours later, the same device was logged in Kiev. Also, we can see that the time difference overlaps the flight length. All of these lead us to conclude that the device 2200 likely belongs to Igor Ibrianov. His presence in various hotspots and GRU headquarters indicates that he is likely to be a Russian agent. We can manually link him to the device and save this link chart analysis for further review. So, in this short demonstration, we showed how DataWalk software could be used to track and identify intelligence agents using commercial mobile device data logs, OSINT sources, and internal agency case-specific data. To learn more about DataWalk and other applications of DataWalk software, contact us through our website at datawalk.com. Thank you.